I've come down to Glasgow Green where Transmit Festival opens its gates tomorrow. I've been given a wee exclusive sneak peek around the site and I've got a chat with festival organiser Jeff Ellis to get all the gossip. Fancy a wee look? largely stayed the same as last year with the main stage over there. We've got King Tut's just behind me, but there is one welcome addition, the platform street food area, supporting local Scottish vendors. I never promised you. You've got a nice little oasis of calm among the madness, so what food can we expect here? There's a combination of curries, burgers, some vegetarian stuff, um, some shrimp burgers and some Middle Eastern food. What's so amazing about the platform is all the traders all come from you know, they've all got a bit of a passion about what they do and the product and they're all, you know, they're a bit of an artisan sort of feel about what we all do. So, you know, you're guaranteed that the food's all going to be really good quality. Jeff Ellis, Transmit Year 2. What can people expect this year? Well, a lot of the same. You know, we've not made drastic changes to the site because it worked so well last year. Up in the sky, that big, big orange thing that we, we don't get to see very often in Glasgow, that's a big change for, for this year and that's forecast for the, the whole period. We've improved the site, we've made some tweaks to the bar positions, got some extra new sponsor activity, but it worked so well last year that we thought we're not going to change a great deal because people had such a fantastic time. It did work really well last year. I mean, it must have been quite nervous debut year of the festival. How did you feel it went? Uh, I, I, I was delighted with it. I mean, yeah, with every event, you know, and, and no matter how many years you do it, you're always worried about something, you know, because, you know, if, if you're not, then you become com complacent, so you have to always be on, on your toes. But, you know, I, I didn't expect any real problems and it, and it went, up, went off exactly as I, as I expected. And I think for people in the city centre who might have been concerned about it, they were really delighted with it. And so you really saw then an economic impact on oh, the city and Scotland as a de whole? De de definitely, yeah. And, and, you know, I mean, ma all major events, you know, when you bring in up to 50,000 people a day, that has a huge, you know, financial impact for the city. Even just a hydro one, you know, a fraction of that attendance has a big impact on the city. Because, you know, people go out and they might get something to eat the next day if they're, they're, they're visiting the city. Yeah, because we're, we're, you can come for one day or, or, or all the days, yeah, you can take in everything else Glasgow's got to offer, you know, all the museums, the galleries, the shopping, you know, the bars, the nightlife, the restaurants. Yeah, so people are spending money in the city centre. You've got everyone from The Killers to Darkness to Leon Gallagher. Tell me a bit about the lineup. Well, I think, you know, we've got the opportunity with, with having more days to be a bit more adventurous and, and look at different genres. So having Queen and Adam Lambert for their own UK festival, you know, it was a real coup. So it looks like everything is in place and geared up for you to have a brilliant festival. If you're coming down, enjoy it, stay safe and have the best time.